So on that uh, Grand Bargain Watch, just br- briefly, David Pluff, I don't know where he was uh, being interviewed. Some some think tank. It was a forum at the University of Delaware, which is where he went to school. Oh, well, good for him. And um, he basically said, warned people of paralysis, expressed some type of fantastical notion that if we got our fiscal house in order, whatever the heck that means, when you have a recession, whatever it means to have... It's essentially like your house has been flooded, but if we can make sure that we've dusted everything, our economy will soar over the next 20 years. And he warned of paralysis if both parties remain beholden to their base, saying that Obama's looking for a deal that, quote, the only way to get this done is for Republicans again to step back and get mercilessly criticized by Grover Norquist and the right. And it means that Democrats are going to have to do some tough things on spending and entitlements. That means they'll be uh, criticized on by their left. I wonder what uh, Pete Peterson or banking industry uh, David Pluff will end up in. But meanwhile, Dick Durbin said that progressives should be willing to talk about ways to ensure the long-term viability of Medicare and Medicaid, but those conversations should not be part of a plan to avert the fiscal cliff. He's basically also saying Social Security off the table. And that is a change for Durbin. As far as I can tell, he had at least signaled that he was on board with uh, the Simpson Bowles letter written by those two old coots to President Obama, suggesting that Social Security uh, be trimmed, not slashed, just trimmed, you know. You know those folks making that 12 big bucks, that 1200 bucks a month in their retirement, living large? Maybe we trim their sales a little bit. Yeah, you cut short that trip to uh, the Bahamas or whatever it is. Do people even go to the Bahamas anymore? They must, right? So uh, that's where we are today. There's a lot of talk, uh, talk about a essentially a punt. Coming up with $80 uh, billion worth of new revenue, $80 billion worth of cuts, and basically punting a lot of the um, the things like the sequester and uh, perhaps some tax expenditures that were going to be closed down the road. Who knows? There's a lot of high-level talks going on that we are not privy to. We only see their reflection. <laughs> 